Without further ado, Coach, how has uh, the week uh, been in terms of preparations ahead of Saturday? Yeah, every, everyone's in good health. Um, we're, uh, I think we're moving very positively through one or two uh, difficult areas that we've encountered in our game and trying to correct, as uh, I'm sure we've all seen. But the guys' attitude's been great. Um, lots and lots of positives to come out of the initial three games of the season. So we want to make sure that we continue to reinforce that. But most importantly of all, that the guys are in a good place physically and mentally and looking forward to the weekend. Thank you, Coach. We will now let them open the floor for, question, uh, for questions. As a reminder, please alert me through the chat uh, if you have any questions for Coach. We will kick it off with Tim Sullivan with For Club and Country. Gary, you alluded to the team being healthy. Um, does that mean uh, that Daniel Rios, uh, Abu Danladi, and Brian Anunga are all uh, feeling better? No, that's, that's a good Tim, um, I, I, I mean, uh, from last week, those, those guys are still unavailable to us. But as far as the group and, and the healthy group from last week, we, uh, you know, we remain intact. So, yeah, we, we've not had any new uh, additions to the training group and those three guys remain with the uh, medical department. Ben Wright with uh, sport, uh, Broadway Sports. Yeah, Gary, obviously after giving up two goals against um, Cincinnati and Montreal, I'm, I'm sure you were pleased to see a, a clean sheet against Miami. Um, but you, you've talked a little bit earlier about just this week trying to work on a couple things. Is that like include trying to find balance between those two performances and, and laying somewhere in the middle. Um, and, and how do you, how do you go out and create chances against New England while, while kind of maintaining your goal? Yeah, I, I've, I've always said the balance is absolutely key. Um, you know, we've performed, I believe, very, very well from almost minute 10 or 12 on and, and been I think what we could class as the aggressor or in control of proceedings from that point, we've uh, we, we've started a tad sluggish in those three games, uh, and I do think that the clean sheet will do everyone the world of good. There's a number of things that you want to try and tick off in the early stages of of, uh, of the season. Clean sheets, one of them. Um, getting your getting your first multiple goals is one of them. And of course, you, your first win on the ball is, is the other and, and probably main one. So, you know, we're still in search of that. I think we're in a very good place with regards to creation. Um, we had good territorial advantage and possessional advantage. We managed the game well last weekend. However, against a, a more resilient and maybe slightly deeper Miami group than the, the weeks before, it became a tad more difficult to to find multiple opportunities to score. But I think, you know, somewhere in between the, the real extreme of Cincinnati and maybe last weekend is where we'd like to, to slot most weekends. And, and I don't see any reason with the guys that we got that we can't. But, um, you know, making sure that we're as tough as we were last week to to play against is also a, a, a big key to winning any game. So we're, we're slowly getting there. Um, it's not an easy process given the, the, the path that we were on through pre-season, but guys are in a good place. Claudio Villalobos with Nashville Total Sports. Um, coach, what have you seen from New England uh, this, thus far, uh, besides what's obvious uh, with the great shape of Matt, Matt Polster and Carlos Gill in the midfield? that uh, you were more, you were, if any, more con concerned about for this game? I, I, I do think, having watched um, New England's opening games, that they, they are the most um, well-balanced and competitive group that we're going we're gonna to run into at this point. It's not, it's not any discredit to the teams we've already played because they do have certain qualities within their group, but this New England team um, throughout their group from back line, go, well, let's start with a goalkeeper who was magnificent last year and has carried on that form. Um, their back line is, is competitive and resilient. 
and has plenty of athleticism. Um, the two guys in midfield, I think any group would want in terms of their industry uh, and, and general team play. And as you look at the attacking group that they have available to them, I would, again, think most teams, you know, look at it in awe, really, as to, to what they have available. They are one of the most complete groups, I believe, in, in the Eastern Conference. Um, capable of, of not conceding, capable of competing, difficult at both ends of the field from set pieces, um, and also incredibly talented and creating their own opportunity. So uh, it's going to be a, a really tough game. Um, we know from last year that, uh, you know, they'll come, they'll, they'll want to go and force the issue. They'll want to get on the front foot. And, and I would expect nothing less than maybe the most difficult encounter that we've run into. Regios with the Tennessean. Yeah, Gary, a couple of observations from last week that depending on what you think it may um, return this week. One was how you observed just the service that your side had had gotten into the box against Miami. Um, do you think that that will be something that needs to be uh, addressed or probably will improve and that you hope or that you predict uh, against New England? And then the number, number two is how Miami and how deep that they were defending. Do you think that that will probably be what, what New England and how they defend you guys as well? Thanks. I think we'll see a very different game to last weekend. Um, you know, our, our, our relationship, if you like, with Miami is, you know, is uh, is one that I think both groups are enjoying now. It's, it's, it's got a, a very different feel to it, given that we both came into the league at the same time. Um, and the games have been exceptionally tight when we've played them on most occasions. Um, and, and I'm sure that, they realised they were in for a challenge themselves coming here, given our first two outings. So I, I don't expect the same game. Um, I know we're playing at a very similar time in the day, which does affect uh, the way that guys go about their business and the, the way the field plays, etc. But th this New England group uh, have not only been together a lot longer, they, I believe, are, are far more comfortable within their own skin, if you like, the Miami group had a number of new additions and even some missing. So you, you can understand that. But th this, this New England group are, are capable of, of really getting on the front foot and forcing the issue. I think that's where they're at their best. Um, they're also capable of, of obviously sitting in and defending the lead if they need to. They've got guys that, that are more than capable of doing that. So we'll, we'll be ready for what, whatever comes our way. Um, as far as as far as delivery and and you know service from those wide areas, if you look at the first two games, whether from dead balls or open play, I think we were as good as anyone in the league in the first two games. Um, lots of opportunity, plenty of connection, and the type of delivery was varied, which I think gave the opposing back lines a real tough time. The weekend was slightly different. And I think I can only draw a line under the word consistency. Um, our dead balls weren't anywhere near as good. We certainly didn't hit the areas that we would like to. And in open play, for whatever reason, we didn't have the same connectivity. And when the opportunities came along, I think we could point towards two very good openings and uh, situations, one from Hanny and the other one from Randall and the second one being Dominic's chance late on. So consistency is the key. There's no reason that we shouldn't be asking questions of every team that comes to uh, Titan Stadium. And uh, I just think it's a matter of the guys getting back on track and you know, being in the right place mentally to, to get the job done in that, in that situation. Team Sullivan with a follow-up question. Gary, what have you seen in this New England team that is maybe different from the team that you saw last year? Um, especially, I think you guys only saw like 20 minutes of Carlos Hill last year, and um, he's expected to be available. Well, I, I, think, that's, I think that's the main uh, difference this year. Uh, I know there's one or two other names that have crept into the group. I think last weekend, if my pronunciation's right, is it Mar Martial played in midfield, um, looked, looked a very good... 
Um, but but Gil is the is is the one player that you know we didn't see a lot of. Um, he was back fit and healthy for the playoffs for them and, and for their final um, competitive games. But he, he certainly has impressed me in these first couple of, of fixtures. Um, he looked very, very bright and effective in the Atlanta game this, this last weekend. Um, and anyone with a sort of technique and talent and, and creative um, impetus in a game is always going to be a, a worrisome factor. And, you know, he certainly be, will be one individual for us to, to keep a close eye on. But look, um, the centre forward, Busca, um, I don't know whether uh, Bo will play, and Buchanan on the, on the flanks. He's also another very, very talented wide player, you know, who can, can certainly hurt any group in, in those isolated 1v1 situations. So lots and lots of, uh, of, of areas of creativity from their group. Um, but look, you know, I'm, I'm sounding like, uh, you know, it's all about New England. It's not. We've been very good at home for long, long periods in the last three games. Uh, I'm sure there are things in our game that they'll be concerned about. And it's really down to us to make sure that we can impress upon this New England group uh, a style of play that's proved very good in the, in the attacking half of the field in the last three games. And that's, that's our job as the home team. One final question from Ben Wright. Yeah, Gary, I'm, obviously you haven't lost yet this year um, and, and you've, you've started off with, um, with three draws. How important is it for you in this, in this last game before you go on the road to get, to get a win and, and to get all three points? Of course it's important. You know, I think we'd have all looked at the, the opening schedule and, and said, you know, uh, a win or two out of those first four games would have been ideal and to stay unbeaten. Um, you know, we can, we can look at it in one of two ways. We can, the glass can be half empty and we can say, well, you know, we, we haven't started great in a couple of those games and we've conceded goals and, uh, you know, there's work to be done there. Or we can look at it in a very different fashion with the glass half full and how well we have done going forward, the chances we've created and, and the opportunities really in the Montreal and Cincinnati games to have actually overturn the two goal lead that they had and to have won the game. Um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely edging towards the half glass, uh, the glass half full and, and being very positive about the way we're playing, the physical um, position that the guys are in. They, they look in a, a really good physical shape. They're playing a full 90 minutes at a very good pace and, and they're looking strong. And I, I see no reason as we move down the line here why you know, whether it's this weekend or beyond, we don't get our first win on the on the sheet and, and feel that much better about it. And if, if this weekend's going to be that situation, we'll look back and say it's been a very decent start to the season. Uh, Dax, how, has, uh, how have preparations gone this, this week? Yeah, preparations have been, uh, have been very good this week. Uh, I think just like every other week, um, you know, the intensity and desire to continue to improve and to try to get that first win of the season is um, at a very high level right now. So we understand the challenge that we have in front of us in New England and we're excited about, uh, we're excited about stepping on the field and trying to get our first win against uh, one of the better teams in the league. Team Sullivan with the first question for you. Hey Dax, you um, said something on social media the other day that was um, expressing disappointment in the, in the results you guys have gotten how do you, uh, I guess, kind of not necessarily divorce the two, but continue working the positive processes um, in such a way that they will lead to positive results too? Well, you have to be honest with yourself. Every time you're analyzing your performances, whether you win, whether you lose, whether you tie in our case, which we have three times in a row. Um, so you always want to analyze the good and the bad. Uh, I think that there has been far more positive and good from our play than bad. Uh, but ultimately, uh, the bad and the places that we need to improve, um, you know, they are, how should I put this? Um, I guess more apparent when you don't win the game. So 
we're continuing to watch video every day. We're continuing to look at how we can better ourselves. I think we're trying to evolve as a team. And with evolution, I think comes a little bit of, uh, of challenge and a little bit of frustration. And, you know, I, I said it on social media because I believe it. We aren't happy with uh, with three points from, from three home games. I, I don't think it's, it's up to our standards that we've set for ourselves as a club. And I think that with a very front loaded home schedule, um, you know, we need to be picking up positive results and in, in three points at home. And it's not going to happen every time. Um, but certainly with the way that we've played, uh, I think the majority of these first three games, I would have expected us to pick up at least seven points, but that's not the case. So we learn from it, we move on, and we focus on New England to try to get three points against them. Claudio Villalobos with the next question. Dax, uh, when you uh, when you when you talk, you're speaking about analyzing the the whole the performance overall. Uh, what is your take about those first minutes of the past three fixtures when the team has failed to to reach the level that you show later in the games? Has it been the rivals? Has it been the lack of concentration on those minutes at the beginning of the games? What have you felt inside the pitch on those minutes when, when, when you know something is not right? Yeah, there's, there's two things that I think stick out to me. And one has to do with our team, Nashville. Uh, I think we have lacked sharpness in the first 10 to 15 minutes. I think that we have been a little bit loose with our technical ability on the ball. I think that we're giving other teams the incentive to come and be more aggressive and to try to press us and to try to punish us because of our mistakes. And that's something that we need to clean up. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and make excuses for why that is. Uh, I think that there are reasons for it, but at the end of the day, we are better than what we've shown in the first 10 to 15 minutes of every game that we've played. There's no question about it. And the other aspect of that is that I think that with how we played last year um, and the uh, I guess, mantra that, that we sort of achieved for ourselves when it comes to uh, being a difficult team to play against, uh, you know, not being an easy out, uh, I think, for a lot of teams in the league. We have garnered a little bit more respect. And with that respect comes other teams trying to say that they want to be on top of the game when they play us. And so uh, we have to continue to raise our level. We can't expect that because we played well last year, that's going to translate to wins this year. We have to continue to try to raise the bar and try to be better than we were last year. Great, Hughes. Dex, you mentioned the, some of the video that you've been watching of New England. What are you noticing about this side this year um, versus last year? Obviously, different pieces were not included. Nashville as well. Um, it seems like this year, both sides is going to be a pretty much full health or more than what we saw last year between you two. Yeah, uh, New England's a very good team. Um, I've seen plenty of New England over the first couple of weeks and obviously in the past few years. Uh, I think Bruce Arena has done a wonderful job, um, you know, putting that team on a path to, to being very, very successful. Uh, they have a lot of dangerous players. Uh, their, attacking, uh, their attacking unit is, uh, is very, very tricky and very difficult to, uh, to keep at bay. Um, and I think they have a really good balance uh, in terms of how they defend, how they attack. Carlos Hill is, is one of the best players in the league. Um, you know, they're, he's their focal point. Everything good that they do usually goes through him. But if he has time and space on the ball, um, you know, you're in trouble. He's going he's gonna to pick out the right pass and, and make dangerous chances for them. And so their strikers are clinical. Um, you know, they're good on set pieces. They have a great goalkeeper. They don't concede many goals. Um, you know, just a really well-balanced team uh, and a team that started the season off well. So we've got our work cut out for us, um, but I certainly am up for the challenge. I, I know that our group is up for the challenge. We're ready to, uh, ready to try to go to battle and get our first three points of the season against a very good team. Then right with the final question for you. Yeah, Dax, this is, this is similar to Tim's question from earlier. Um, just looking at the on-field performances in the first three games, um, I, I think the pros outweigh the cons, but at the same at the same time, you're left with just three points. Um, do you feel like there's any special emphasis on this game or any special importance to, to go out and get your first win before you go out on the road? Uh, yeah, I think that the special emphasis is for us to, to not shoot ourselves in the foot. The, the first two games of the season, uh, we were the architects of, in, of our downfall and our own worst enemy, if you will. We gave the other team the incentive 
to go and score goals and to get on top of the game early. And that meant we had to, to dig out of a hole. So, you know, that's the, the focus is to make sure that we're the team that's, that's aggressive right from the get-go. Uh, don't make any mistakes that will put New England on the front foot. And secondly, um, you know, we need to play with a little bit more urgency. I think that's a word that, you know, I've used throughout this week to try to make sure that we instill in our group is that uh, we need to play with more urgency from the opening whistle. And I think we're a team that's always going to be honest. We're a team that's always going to give everything we have on the field for our fans, um, you know, for our shirt. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can still raise the urgency when you know that the results haven't gone your way. That's something you can always control. So um, I expect us to, to start the game better than we have uh, these past three games. And, and we'll see how the game plays out. But we're certainly expecting to get three points. Uh, and Ivar, how's training been uh, the past couple of days? Um, I think we started training, like, try to think about New England today because the last Today is like more like recovery day. And today is a good day because uh, we think about the first 50 minutes, uh, try to, to improve more in the first 50 minutes, try to control more, more the game. And this is why we train in today. We will now open the floor for questions. Team Sullivan with World Club and Country with the first question for you. Anibal, um... Dax um, made a post on social media this week about um, how disappointed you guys are uh, to only have three draws through three games. How do you, um, as a team, go about turning some of the positives from these games into wins? Uh, yes, uh, it's difficult when we we play home uh, like three games now, and we have three points. Uh, we know if we wanna if we wanna go to playoff, we need to win home. I think this is more important uh, in this league because everybody know when you go to play away, it's, it's tough game, it's tough, it's really, really difficult to try to win uh, one game uh, away. Uh, everybody try to play winning home to try to step like forward, but uh, we need to improve. We need to improve uh, about like what I said before, like we need to improve the first 50 minutes uh, because we control all the game after the 15 minute, the first game we we make like 30 shot uh, in target. And, uh, we control all the game. We move the ball really well, and uh, but we 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 don't win. The football is about win. Uh, football is not like if we have 80 percent with the ball and and we don't score or we don't win. This is what we need to improve morning home because I know the the people wanna want to win, the fans want to win, and we, we, we want to win. And, but this is like, we need to improve, try to, try to stay focused, the perfect thing. Claudio Villanobos with the next question. Anibal, as a player, do you prepare yourself uh, mentally different uh, uh, for a team like New England, uh, when you know that they have probably, you're going to be facing probably the best midfielders in the league at this point? Uh, not only me, I think everybody prepare like, not like different because we know, we we know we play now against New England, it's a tough thing. They have like, like not like different thing about last year. They have the same player, maybe they change like two, three guys maximum. They don't change a lot. They have the same shape, they have the same energy, they move the ball well, you know, they don't change a lot. I think we need to prepare the game to try to, to control more, like the first 50 minutes. This is the more important, I think, in this moment for us. Because last year when we play against them here in home, uh, it's a tough game. Uh, they control, I think, all the game. They have good midfielder, what you say, like, if you leave Carle Hill, if you leave uh, Buchanan in the wing, in the white sun, I think they make different. This is why we need to, to stay focused about, about our game first. We need to, to, to think always about our game and after try to, to think with the other, with the other team. Uh, 